The Astra Star is already being dunked down. They're red now, so you know which ones are on the attacker side. Orenda is actually on the side. Whoa, what a click! Right through the smoke, catches Rose. Let's get spotted out by the recon arrow. No matter, heals himself up. And that shotgun may he actually get a kill. Yes, that does. Year four, two, three, eight. Confirms it onto Cicerina. And now look at this. The defenders, they've lost two players. They've lost their server util for the retake. 3v5 in the post line defense is pretty gnarly right now. Thankfully, Sonus does open up onto one Orenda while the two other players try to aggress through defender spawn. It is a bit of a crossfire though. That Sage wall, very close angles. You have to check everything close by. And the recon arrow won't help at all. 180 by Curse. Can't get the kill. Sonus 1v4 will fall finally. And Reinhardt, the pistol round will go to the side of Bossley Park. And that's going to give them um, a better opportunity leading into round two. We'll see some Spectres coming out. Maybe a Stinger as well. Because uh, I do know some people do prefer Stinger above Spectra. Just for personal reasons, I guess. But it also does pretty well. It's cheap. I got to say, like that last round. The one thing that really mattered the, the most. And I think um, we'll probably see this actually happen in the future. Is that if one member gets caught out on defense. He tries to go for the play. And he tries to defend a point until his team gets there. That does not work. That does not only work out because you essentially put yourself on respawn that makes it a 4v5 moment. But reading into round two, we're seeing a bit more of a passive spray. Could be trying to bait them out into coming, you know, outside of the comfort zone. Oh, one can hope. But look, the, the defense, the, the, what I don't really agree with right now is that they're playing really defaults. Just split across all three sites. When you are on classics, the odds of, you you know, a player being able to hold down a site, like you were talking about earlier, it's going to be pretty unlikely, so it's better if they go try and make some game plan to go aggressive as entire units, say down C long, down A long, get orb control for at least one. It may yeah. be a curveball and prove to be the, the downfall of the, of the attackers, who are now, uh, well, baiting out everything, actually. They showed aggression towards C, and now they're rotating back. It will look to be an A push at the end of the day, and there's only one Viper on site, limited util to work with. Yeah, what I'm really loving is Viper putting her, putting her poisonous wall across B to create some sort of blinding attention. It's going to give the rest of the team the ability to run straight through B if they need to get on A. And all the attention is on A, and there's the first kill of the round coming in. Yeah, Curse, you know, he had the snake bike down. It delayed the, the push very briefly, but then Orenda, zero respect, dashes right on. Cool kill getting the second kill now. One at a time, the defenders are, are falling, and this should be a farming round for uh, Bossy Park. Just getting a few hold points, getting a few kills, padding their stats a bit. There's no reason for this now Parramatta can ideally retake this. As you can see, yet yeah, another player down one at a time. Oh. Okay, Rose, that's pretty good. The shock dart and the classic shock combination dart. takes down one. But now Orenda, the curveball in the corner. Has to get the hell out of Dodge because there's more util coming his way real soon. Rose does pick up a Spectre to work with, but now all on his lonesome 1v4. A similar story to the pistol round. Looking to save the Spectre of, of all guns. So well, they are down one point. They're about to hand over the second round. Mm. They don't exactly have a strong econ ready either. And you know, moving into the third, we're gonna see some we're gonna see Vandals and um, Phantoms appearing in infantry as well as like full on shields just on um, the attacker side because of how well they've been playing so far like at best we've only seen two deaths across the board so everyone's got massive econ ratings and they're really trying to make you know as much as possible and i gotta say i'm loving it but looking on the spectrum i'm seeing all van i'm seeing vandals on the other side whereas like the attackers have decided to go straight with a whole bunch of spectros and a sheriff yeah, well, because the attackers, they've won two rounds basically almost flawlessly. There's no reason for them to really buy up in rifles right now. They might as well save the guns they have and try and play bonus, play tight, sneaky angles. And since they are on the attack, they have a passive advantage already. They can flush onto a site as an entire unit and get a few kills and swap out a few of these guns for rifles, ideally. Which is why the defense now, after losing two rounds back to back, they have to use rifles and what the, wherever they have. And now, once again, similar story, back down to Cursed. By himself trying to lock down the A side. This time the Viper wall is a different positioning, but Orenda, look at that. He's getting the ult orb, and that's the runner back already active. Six points to, to charge it up, and this is a huge boon for the attacker side because that ultimate, when popped, is essentially a 6v5 advantage for Bossley Park. And what I'm really loving is we've still got two members sitting on the other side Jump's towards over. C. Like one's You're in dead. garage, hoping to catch them off guard. You got He just used his running back as well to try and see if there was a sneak attack. So I love his prediction making. But now focusing all the way towards C, going through Garage. The rest of the team's going to have to try and do something to catch up. 
Yeah, unfortunately, his uh, position was already exposed, and it just gave so much you know map control off of that single running back ultimate that was essentially free. Still not a single player is down for Bossley Park. Spikes have been planted, and the attack is deploying one at a time. They, this is a really expensive round for them. They have rifles. 2v5 now. Finally. Kaz. What is his name? Kaz? I'm going to say Kaz. Kaz takes out a red the first thing to, to start off. But now, no smoke still to his work with for another 15 seconds. Paranoia has been dunked. And they haven't even stepped foot onto the site just yet. A poison smoke that comes through and cursed. This is looking pretty cursed. He's not going to have to save this round by himself. But peeks through. He doesn't quite manage to land the spray down. And that's a bit disastrous. A secret box, triple kill for him. And Bossley Park, they managed to trade out their Spectres for Vandals. Yeah, just looting guns where possible. And almost hitting maximum econ. They've got everything going for them. They'll be able to at least save for the next two rounds if they actually um, hand it over. The gold economy they've got, got, sorry, the crate economy is just incredible. I love the way they're playing. I love how they're maximizing the element of looting the enemy's guns mm. to sort of save their own for a bit. So they at least have a couple of rounds that they can make a recovery from if, you know, things don't exactly go in their favor. But so far, they are just playing so well on attack that they're almost unrivaled at this point. I mean, three rounds they've managed to take on hand. It's looking pretty favorable for the team at the very minimum. And now we're... You know, I'm perhaps trying to go for a long control just a little bit. Cursed, he's eyeballing the ult orb, and I don't think he would have gotten it. Nothing to lose, but now, look, Fossily Park, as a whole unit, they're starting to aggress on. Arena did get tagged up pretty heavily, so that's a good dink, I think, by Curse with the uh, Sheriff at range. Unfortunately, it only does 142, I think, at that distance. Take Cannot quite confirm kill. And now look at that again! You have Arenda getting the ult orb again as Phoenix. That's already one shot. Oh, no. He's four out of six. He used his, his, his run back in the last round, and he only needs two more to get it back again this round. And with his ability to actually help close out, um, the, you know, close the gap, get in, get out, just act like the frontline scout for a team. Really amazing. Oh, that's, that's really good by Serena because that snake bite it gave the uh, fragile debuff to 042. It does a one shot to the body from the marshal. But now, Orenda, he doesn't want to dabble with that left. nonsense. So he's going to run out. And another mass rotation coming through from Bosley Park off of A back over to C. But I do think the rotation has been red. And they. And Parramatta are rotating over to C side. But only one player on defense right now. Rose goes down. And once again, Parramatta, numbers are even four on four. It's inferior guns, however. Well, they are down. Like Phoenix left. is down to a very close nick. They're able to actually recover from this. I'm loving the position of these stars from Astra. They're just really blindsiding uh, the likes of Parramatta. And they're not, they don't really have much vision to be able to do much. They look at that Sage. Just a, a secret box is sitting right behind the wall, waiting for them to poke around the corner. The crossfire as well. Kulku is lying in wait. He gets exposed. No worry. He goes down. But now the trade didn't come through from a secret boss. Curse gets a triple for himself. All down to 1v1. Chime in versus Curse. Two kills so quickly from from both players. But look at the, the usual on site. The Killjoy Nano Swarms. Both have been deployed. And time is ticking away. Curse probably can't get the defuse. And Chime in confirms the kill. Bossley Park. They are unstoppable right now. The benefits and the annoying thing about kill, having Killjoy on the enemy team. A, she could plant down her she could plant down her uh, her swarm on the like on the spike and just let it off the minute like they hear someone trying to take down the bomb, mm. and then like for your team it's like it help secure the you know help secure the spike from actually being diffused. So it's like they're both pros and cons of a situation like this. I'm really like Don't hold leading that. forward. They would want to try and take out Killjoy on the remaining uh, rounds they have on attack just to be able to save those swarms from being a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> Well, we are seeing really aggressive uh, action over towards the A site. They've taken a long control and probably Sewers at this rate as well. Orenda lying away. The runner back about to be popped. Over. Waiting for his team to come dead. on. Nova Pulse stuns to Serena. You have the dash to work with though. And another cloud burst. And the dash right into his own. Can be in the sneaky position. It has men and Curse the manager to frag out. Curse going huge again this round on the defense. And suddenly the tables have been turned. The, the top fraggers. The ultimate's remaining. gone. Orenda is dead. All down to the last fight. A secret box. One on five. This Here. is the best round we've seen thus far from Parramatta. Yeah, well, straight off the bat, you can see Sober's coming up from behind. He's going to hide in the corner right near the window so that he can catch him off guard. He's got this expectation. He does hear the gun switching around, and he's going to try and keep him in a corner for as long as possible. Secret box. I love the strategy. I love how he's trying to fool them into thinking, hey, I'm moving off to B or C. But in this uh, spectrum, they already got their avenues covered. Now it's just a matter of waiting to see 
what box might do. Oh, first. Enemy removed. That was a little bit weird because you already have a player holding close mid and of course one watching C long on the defense. There's no reason to believe to go aggro towards uh, to, uh, to, 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 to go towards to get control. But now a secret box, no util at all left, only a self heal. One on four, you have to start fragging out now. Dodges the recon arrow just narrowly, but four man runs through that little kill box area. Oh, the secret box, wait, 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 they have a superstar! I feel like that just earned the MVP of the match, or at least clip of the game, clip of today's first game. That was amazing, straight, like, sitting out like that, carrying the team when you're the last member alive. The switcheroo, making a believe I'm gonna run off from A and go straight to B or C. Just the sneakiness, the cunning behavior coming out from Box was just unrivaled. That just absolutely led them to the fifth consecutive round that they are now leading in favor of Parramatta. Like, Parramatta don't exactly have a lot to stand on at this point, but I'm, I'm really hoping they actually do make a recovery and attack. Oh, dear. Otherwise, it won't really end well for them. You say that, so just fired off a single shot with the Marshall. This is a force fire as well by, by Parramatta. You have three players on, on rifles and two on Marshalls. One's already dead. And Parramatta, they, they have a lot of ultimates to work with. Pretty much five ultimates right now. But Bossley Park, they just warmed up and fired up. Too angry to die at this rate. A similar story. They, they got one kill over towards one site. And then they rotate back over towards the A site. However, Cursed has dumped down that, that Viper's pit. Although... He only cover half of the site, so it's a little bit of a questionable position to pop it. And Bossley Park, they have so much freedom right now. This is why I say the attack side is so favored on Haven. Just the, the lack of intel on the defense, it allows the attackers to go so freely across the map and Love fade out with rotations on the defense. Orenda now running onto the B site, chasing up on the kill. Rose in the middle of trouble, but backup is arriving soon. And Paul Killer, he's running through with zero fears whatsoever. It does point out Rose and to his death has oh, confirms the kill. And by however, it's a matter of Bossley Park, they're just better. They frag right back retribution for the dead teammate now it's got two on four now serena and cursed how do they decipher this puzzle it's going to be a very interesting cipher that is for certain you've got four members sitting on point so three on one point one remaining. dragging behind over in window to try and catch them off guard because it makes sense we do see this quite often you have four members or at least you know Every single member but one that is alive sitting on the point and we have one lagging behind to be able to catch out anyone who tries to flank. And I'm just loving oh. this strategy. Parramatta are not 100% on where that last, like where that last member could be. Well, they know now because uh, Serena was using Util and ju jumping around, trying, trying to maybe do some damage towards a uh, Bossley Park and at least die because there's no point in holding on to, to the Marshall. But now look. Ah, oh, you die now. Your whole team, oh, half the team at least, can buy up reasonably well. Okay, no, they, 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 they shouldn't be buying at all. Parramatta, the economy, it's such a mixed bag right now. Eco as a team and buy back in the next as a whole team. Because right now, you're down six rounds. You need, you, you have to pull things together and try to scratch something on the leaderboard. Otherwise, Bossley Park is going to go all the way and it's going to be a pretty one-sided game. It's feeling quite, it's feeling quite the situation. I, I feel a little bit for Parramatta how they'll play coming on to attack, but straight off the bat, just outside of screen. Box, getting a nice res on somebody, gonna try and keep themselves alive. It's now 4v5, and they're gonna keep this charge in their head. Oh, Orenda, this is his third runner back he's used in six rounds. He's been using his ultimate every two rounds. That's that's huge if, if you can't realize at this point. Spike and now planted. ultimates are being dunked down by Bossley Park. Cycle your ult. There's really no point in holding on to it when you have a 6 0 lead. Ensure you have an even stronger lead. He was against the uh, team of Parramatta right now on defense. They have much guys to play with, but they are getting the job done. Curse raised out the secret box, and Orenda with that. Uh, hot hands should be able to burn Curse briefly. You oh, should he escapes run. in the corner. The kill joy lockdown has been used. The attackers have to hold up a dear life, but one at a time, they're getting heads pops. But in through you, Weapon Dream, Cool Killer confirms himself a second. All down to Curse and uh, Sonus now. Oh, I'll take it back. It's all down to Curse, but he's still popping hands with the Marshall. This round's just so chaotic in a 1v1, and Spike still ticking away in his final stages. Oh, cool Killer walks right into the crosshairs of Curse, and I do think he actually can set the defuse. Oh, oh, he no, no, no. narrowly misses out. A good opportunity to keep that Astra lagging behind to prevent a defuse. A very smart move, but I will say we have to give huge credit for that round. Parramatta completely stacking on the Sheriff. So it was everyone sticking on it so they can save for a round 
and get back up to par where we're going to see all Vandals sitting across the board versus a whole bunch of Phantoms versus a Vandal. Oh, yeah. This type of map, it's like, it's okay to get away with, you know, picking a Phantom just because you're not going to be playing range a lot of the time. And it really does help with, like, you know, creating that forgiveness with the recoil. Standing ahead. Uh, the, the Phantom as well, five extra bullets at close range distances and will one shot to the head. So it's actually a decent advantage, that which is why a lot, a lot of pro players, they choose to have the Phantom. On paper though, I would say it is better in, in a lot of situations compared to the Vandal. The Vandal is just the biggest advantage is it can one shot to the head at any distance. That's huge. But now, let's focus on the round at hand. Full bars on, on both teams. Ultimate leaning towards Parramatta. And we do have... Possibly Park once again, showing aggression towards C. They got the ult orb, and they picked up the ult orb towards A now. They have excellent ultimate uh, uh, orb control on this map so thus far. That's how Oren has been using the running back every two rounds. And now, debating on rotations, and just cutting noise, waiting for Paramount to, to make a mistake, and one player to play to peak or die. We also got to give, we also got to mention the fact that Secret Box has also used Rez every single time. It comes off cool. He manages to get full charges, and it's worked well in their favor. Well, now, first play on the side, as always, does go down, but his teammates are just trade out, and cool killer, my god, manages to clean up the side for his team. Seaside completely free for the taken four on two, and Parramatta once again in a disadvantageous situation. Bossley Park, the post line looking really good as well. One player back side, one and two on site, one down long as Killjoy. There's really no reason in which they should lose this round. I do think a save is in order for Parramatta Reinhardt. It would make the smarter decision. There are only two members alive. Standing. They've got all avenues covered. They're going to make sure that Parramatta do not catch them off guard. But oh, holding down the trigger for a little bit too long to try and control the recoil. Very risky, to say the very least. And like we saw just then, not the most promising move to make on a situation like this. I mean, the score is now 8-0. to zero. A complete clean sweep. Almost a flame horizon. Parramatta, they still have a couple rounds to try and redeem themselves before moving on to attack. But so far, their defense has not exactly been the strongest. And if we can see uh, just as of a strong defense that we are seeing attack from Bosley, this game could be over pretty soon. Well, much sooner than we expect. Yeah, we didn't really get a chance to talk about the agent uh, uh, picks right now on this map. We'll talk about that probably during the longer uh, downtime when we switch sides. As Curse you does manage to get it. one kill on, onto Orenda, it may seem okay that Bossley Park, they're feeling a bit too Lovely confident and starting to make sort of sloppy mistakes. Picking out Solo, getting picked up early. And once again, same story. Chime and by himself up A long. Sonus takes him down. There's still two players left on the A side to hold it down. I'll, make it, I'll take it back. There's only one. However, he hasn't been spotted out just yet at Bossley Park to make noise. They used, used you to over towards A, and now they are going for a rotation again over towards the C side. And three players currently rotated over for Parramatta. Being able to blind sign them, create some noise, get them to thinking, hey, we're over at A, but slowly shadow stepped over towards B. I'm loving how much they're trying to pull them, as, like, pull them around, like we saw from Seeker Fox earlier. And just moving straight through, they've gotten any idea that they're on B. Now looking towards C, they're going to try and see what opportunities they can make here, what setups they can go with. Well, that angle was cut off because... Oh dear! There's the uh, the snake bite and the poison orb, so that's the, the health health debuff. And plus, you know, a, a, a light molly to burn you down, but that was a bit of an aggressive push by the server there because they're taken standing. down. And that was the slippery slope. Bossley Park, they they are hard punishing Parramatta right now for, for, for being overly aggressive Poison's when they had the man advantage. And they basically had side control everywhere. Now Bossley Park planting the spike over towards the A side. Everyone is split, split up though for the time being. Planted. So cursed, there is a world in which he can clutch this out, but he cannot waste any time. He has to get, get a move on right now. No, and seeing Secret Box have one more charge left to popping ulti. We're going to see it happen next round at the Barris. And for those who might be a little bit unaware, Viper throwing up her poise, her little poison cloud on top of the frame allows her to see them on their feet to catch them off guard before they actually have vision control. And just then, catching them off guard from behind now turns the situation to be a little bit more favorable. She has her ulti available, could be looking to use it. But the use it just to be able to gain some vision control here. The time, it's, 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 it's ticked away way too far. Cursed, he, he took too long for trying to retake. So at least he does manage to take one player down. Well, two actually, uh, passively, as a secret box does die to the uh, spike. But unfortunately, not a single round on the board yet for Parramatta. And 
overall the economy for you know Bosley Park they're not struggling at all they're not yeah. concerned they have ultimate yeah. soon charged up a secret box the um the resurrection and Orenda yet another runner back this is the the ninth round uh the tenth round and that and this this is a uh, fourth runner back it's it's unraveled. He, they're allowing him to take down that take down those warps every single time, so that he has the opportunity yeah. to act as their forefront. Because while he's out there, he can just get a glimpse of where they are on the map. The rest of the team will look on their mini maps to you know get a glimpse of positioning, gain an understanding of where they are, keep that information in mind, and try and play off of what's available. And that really makes a big difference when it comes to trying take on taking on a point. Killjoy sitting on the side, lagging Don't between the team a lot of the time, is working so far for the team, it's just knowing when she gets caught out on the side. Well, I think it, it's a lurk role, or a role in general for um, uh, Boss Park is working out so well. And that flash, oh, that's catch one. Rose doesn't know where the hell he's looking. And as a result, we'll get taken down a secret box in time. And the, the tag team, the managed to take down two players of the defense. But now they're still stuck over towards Garage and trying to work over Spike towards the site. Down, and Sona starts lock down the B-side for a time being. Spots a few more players out. He's in a position Ooh, now. It's a headshot at long range. That's good for him. But yeah, the evidence available. No leaders to work with. And will run away to his death. Orenda capping him from behind. Serena and Curse 2v3. Grimmel still with Curse as the ultimate. Standing. Not anymore if he does lose Spike his life. Planted. Serena, one of three now. Not a great opener as he does go down to Chiman. Bossley Park double digits. 10 to nothing. And three rounds to go, so we've got this complete sweep. Zero, like, all points in their favor. The Flame Horizon. Bosley don't exactly have... A, sorry, Bosley have too much working well in their favor. The Parramatta, they're going to need to come up with a different strategy because so far, everything they have thrown at Bosley has not worked in succession. So they need to pick up their game. They need to try and play more well together and prevent them from being able to at least get on site. I mean, every time they have gone onto site... One person from Parramatta has tried defending and going to a gunfight, and nine times out of ten, it has lost every time, oh, making yeah. it into a 4v5 at least. This is a potential good start, though. Serena may be able to take down the Lurker or Boston Park. Oh, good to actually away and use the Cloud Burst as well. Can't quite take down Chiman. He's just a little bit better with a stronger gun, but there is one more player over towards Window as Rose sprays down a double for himself. 0 4 2 has the operator. That's not the gun you want as a Sova. Now, Parramatta, they he are striking back. And as I say that, the secret box takes down Sonus and the Resurrection now back into Chiman. You were saying earlier that, like, um, uh, Parramatta had to play better together as a team. I do agree with that sentiment, as well as the fact that, um, you know, look, Bosley Park, they seem to be a better, a better caliber of team. We can talk about the, uh, the agent picks in a, in a bit, but just overall, they're making huge, big, they're trying at least for Parramatta to go huge as individual players, trying to make hero plays. Just then, Sonus, he peeked out a long Why? He got taken down instantly. There were more players holding the angle, and the resurrection came through. You Thankfully, this run. time, though, he did have a player locking down the site. Rose with a Spectre. This is his fourth kill with a Spectre a. versus Rifles. This shouldn't be happening in a round like this, but the kills your lockdown is deployed, and Bossy Park, they are able to take sight, and Rose just going a little bit too far there. We'll get taken down by 042. 2v2 now. Post plant situation. One enemy Hasman is on site. Let's get taken down. All that's a last by a curse. One on one. Gets tagged up. And tons of fury to come through. Oh, 0 4 2. No respect at all. A blinding shot. Straight through everything. Catches him off guard and just deletes the remaining health bar. Amazing play from from the likes of the from the likes of this player. I I just I was expecting it to at least survive a little bit or just narrowly miss, but straight on target they all the way their, through. I just... They used their util very well. 0 for 2. He had the um the, the owl drone up while uh who was it? Um Chiman, I think, was uh, was punting the spike, managed to tag the last player, and that's how he had guaranteed intel where Cursed was. And Cursed dumping down the Bypass bit, maybe could have used it after he dodged the Hunter's Furies. Anyways, the round's over. That's a new round now. 11 to nothing. Parramatta, once again, a bit of a solo peak there. Thankfully, Serena is jet, so it does have the privilege of dashing away to safety after confirming the location of a single player. We can see, once again, Viper throwing, like, like we just saw before, throwing the little poison cloud on top of the frame so that she'll be able to get vision on them before they catch her off guard. And it works. It just works so well every time. What's annoying, though, is that we haven't seen them try and focus a lot straight through Garage. They've been looking to see where everyone is and see what they could try and make a play around. Look for those weak points and try and stretch them out as much as possible. As we can see, they're still playing another passive round. They're trying to see 
where they are, what they can do, and how they can play. And having servers sitting all the way in the center of everything, they have every avenue covered. That if one person gets taken down, they won't be able to try and sit on that point because there's no spike there. And now looking at where they're going, they're trying to focus as much of their attention as they can towards A. But look at Viper in the back line. Going straight for the roundhouse, taking the long journey to try and catch him off guard. That's rough. And you know, Orenda once again maintaining his uh, two round for ultimate uh, statistic. That's huge. And the uh, alarm bot, it will probably detect the Viper on the flank right now. Indeed, it does. Side has been taken once again by Boxley Park. This post plant should be pretty decent. Their fire player is standing there. Peeps are useful to play with. They used Astral, Astra's util early on to, to bait out Panther rotation early on to A, and then they cut noise. That's what the the defenders rotate off. But regardless, though, the defense is because they're trying to retake the site and curse that snake by the white land on target. Does get a kill, and the classic does manage to pick himself up a second onto Chiman, but one HP now. No heals to bail him out. This is going to be match point for Bossley Park. Cursed. Try to do as much as you can. And that lineup, I'm pretty curious to see where it goes. But... Using <sighs> Every single time you go up against the operator, you have a, like, probably 10% chance to be able to win against it if they know how to pop those bullets. Mm. So far, we're seeing it near 100% succession. Hitting match point, both sides switch. We're now on a reset, straight back to the pistol round. Let's see what let's see what Bosley can do on defense and paramedic can try and recover this. Because so far it is a flame horizon. Zero to twelve. And this is the mat this is the final round as well. So we they're gonna try and play their game right if they want to be able to get back into this game just for another round. Well, 13-1 sounds better than the 13-0, I'll say that at the very least. But it's hard to do that when you have, you know, a secret box, a battle sage popping off 21 kills for his team. And so far, Bossley Park, they've gone flawless on defense. And now they are on the attack side. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, on the defense side in which they were on the attack side previously. They have every advantage in the world. But Rose does open up with a cool, cool killer. That's big. But now Spike the Astro Util, last minute, is doing a little bit of damage. And numbers are even again. Rose sprays in the second. Onto Orenda, the hero perhaps of Parramatta High School. A player they need. And one by one, we are seeing players of Boston Park get taken down. They had a they weren't very strong on defense. Now sitting on attack, they took they focused a lot of effort in just taking down Killjoy's bot. Mm. Sort of leaving them in a little bit of a unfavorable position. I mean, they are down at least one member at the moment. You've got three still alive, all sitting on A. Sorry, two of them sitting on A. One on A, now the other's on B and C, covering every single avenue. And what I'm loving is that they have the ability to escape if they need to. They're not going to try and put themselves in a corner. And you know, as well, the Killjoy turret initially, it did so, so, so much damage to three players. So the retake, even if it's a 2v4, it's very much possible because it only takes a few bullets to kill them. Uh, and as well, the Killjoy Nana Swarmer did even more damage to the players pushing on as Kazman does standing. get one. And suddenly it's all down to Chiman in a 1v3. But bear, make a mistake, the turret is back online. This is very much doable. It will get popped and smoked off. He has intel on at least where maybe one or two of the players are playing. One over towards the cubby outside the entrance from Defender Spawn. Chime that's a ghost in front of you. You should pick it up. The crossfire's coming out from, from the attackers. And finally, what you have at Parramatta High School? They take the first round in the second half. They save off that 13-0 completely for now. They managed to recover quite well. Sitting on attack gives them a better opportunity to be able to come back into this. But mm. the pressure applied since every single round is going to be match point for them. It is on. Yeah. They have to go flawless completely. They, they can't really afford to lose players. They can't afford to lose guns. And look at the buy from Parramatta right now. Everyone, well, not everyone, okay. I, I assumed they were going to buy rifles big into this. But, you know, you can make do with, honestly, SMGs because the entire team of Bossley Park, they're going to be playing with classics. And this one, this one, what, 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 what I'm talking about? You have classics go together as a team. Five man aggression down towards mid, and they can just do so much damage with inferior guns. For the lack of firepower, you make up for it in numbers. And now look, the, the attackers, they are down a player. That's a gun that, that they are missing now. But they we should be seeing Paramount first start to strike back. They spot out where Orenda was, but this three player over, over towards window. And one at a time, they are getting picked off as we see trades coming back from Paramount. And it's all down to the last player. Cool killer, one on three. There's a guns to work with. It's Spike has been planted. Oh, eventually the catch out Sonus with the, with the headshot to the back of him. 
So look, this is actually a really good round for the defenders. They had inferior guns, but they had the right strat. Pushed down mid together as an entire unit. Did so much damage. And the attack is Parramatta. You lost three players. That's economy that you can't really afford to loot. I say that, but they can actually full buy back into this because that round went by so quickly. The only issue now is Ryan Hart. It's a full buy for Bossy Park as well on defense. Yeah, they did have they did sacrifice another round to try and hit better recons. Now with full shields, hit we're seeing phantoms and vandals across the board. The only reason why they did not have the strong like their strongest defense is because they sacrificed the round. They just had pistols the entire way. Now coming through, they have everything locked ready to go, locked and loaded. Now it's gonna see whether they can actually provide just as much of a strong defense as we did on attack. He, he, he heard the footstep and he repositioned the L there using that uh, curveball to basically buy himself a little bit of time. No more left, but it does get sprayed through the wall by Rose. Once again, the hero of the of Parramatta High School doing damage and a secret box. And Intel, the Serena was in the corner and sprays him down through the smoke. Numbers once again even four and four. Both teams losing one of their duelists. Yeah, we've got kill. We've got kill drove running, lagging around from behind, going to try and catch any flankers oh, off guard. Okay. They are sitting in garage, hoping to try and catch somebody out. But there you go. They're losing another member. As Charmin right, now right. goes on spawn. Rose, he actually is a bit too sharp right now. I won't lie. But look, a secret box ever so present. Charmin's back. 042 sprays down the double, almost the third. Kazman by himself. And 13 2 win. What do you have it? That's what happens. Fossley Park dominating victory. I gotta say, that was just. Amazing effort. A flawless attack round for Bo uh, for Bosley Park. And then on defense, they were shy a couple of rounds, but they did recover quite strongly once it came to understanding where they're going to be. They had the items available. They had the Vandals, the Phantoms, the Shields. They had to sacrifice a round in order to achieve it, but they had so much. They had so many rounds sitting in their pocket that they could afford to, you know, get up to that point. Be a little bit more passive, be a little bit more patient, because the victory did assuredly come their way at the ultimate end of everything. And now, finally, we have a little bit more time because this game was honestly really fast. A 30, a 31 minute game, actually. Um, let's just talk about the agent picks as well. Okay, look, Bosley Park, one other thing that really ever uh, re iterates like how you know tight their team cohesion is playing as a unit is look at their, their lineup. You have Sage, fair enough, you have Astra, Killjoy, Phoenix, and Sova. The thing they are lacking is like a really solid smoker, right? You do have Astro who can smoke, but those smokes are smaller and they don't last as long as others. That means, as a result, on the attack side, they have to make use of the limited uh, size and time of her smokes and aggress onto the side as a unit. That's how confident they are in their setup. It, it, takes, a, it takes a really good team. In fact, right now in, in North America and even the top teams, teams in OCE, if you see a team and they have a Astra as their smoker, best be sure that their setups are really good and clean. When they aggress onto the side, they will aggress and not waste her util. As a result, look, 13-2. The entire team just played better. They had a better fundamental understanding of the game. A secret box. Using util, uh, like the, the Sage slow orbs, the walls early on when they were on attack to block off angles and set up crossfires, the slow orbs to deny the defenders trying to, you know, aggress onto a site. And plus the resurrections, you, we saw it a few times uh, in this game and it definitely brought, play, uh, brought players back into the brink and gave uh, Bossy Park the advantage. Finally though, Orenda, the runner backs, count them and weep. I counted at least five across uh, 11 rounds. That's two around, literally. You don't see that at all very often. Well, let's take a look at, let's take a look at the realities, how we managed to achieve it. They allowed him to get the orbs every single round. Yep. He got a couple kills here and there. But the main purpose of using that runner back was to actually gain sight on points where they decided to choose it. And it worked well. They managed to they managed to sacrifice an orb just to get that front scout going. Because they did lack a little bit of scouting potential. They had Sova, but that was their only form of like, you know, frontline information feeding that they could try and work with. And just when it when it finally came down to it, they really worked it well in their favor. And Secret Box, being the hardcore MVP player, I think, of their team. Oh, yeah. Really worked well. She had the most kills, had the most assists. Not the strongest econ economy rating, but the plays that came out on Sage, especially that one round where he completely aced the entire team and turned it around when he was on his yeah. own for the majority of it. I mean, come on. There is nothing more you can really say about that play of the game. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Play of the game, you called it a secret box, will be our MVP for this game. 
and well deserved i have to say almost a 500 combat score as sage on haven you don't see that very often and uh going back to one of your talking points earlier you said orenda with the runner back right it gains uh bossley park positioning map control one one spot in which we saw them use it a lot was over towards garage to aggress onto the seat site at least two of his Running backs were popped garage and it caused the defense to rotate out. And once um, um Orenda uh, loses the 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 running back, what happens? His team takes control of garage and they start getting and they start funneling either over towards uh C Link or onto the C side itself. So look, let's just put let's just put put this game to rest now. 13-2, Bossley Park. They pulled out all the stops to confirm this victory. And Paramount High School, I gotta say, better luck next time.